Well, it's a very spooky start to episode 23. Welcome back. At the end of the last one, we did have the lights go out like someone did not pay the bills. Leaving us stuck inside and now very well lit because I was very well prepared for it. A very well lit base. Even Zebo, the random untamed wild person, is here. And I'm quite happy to have him here. That's fine. Although the animals aren't going to attack. I'm not sure if like a wild Zebo would be. Maybe he'd be all right. But, we need to get rid of this darkness. So, there are two different ways of doing that. One, we can even just, we can hide. And stay inside these walls until it just vanishes. Or, we can go and attack these noctily things. If we attack these things, I think there's three of them. I think if we destroy one, we get attacked by things. I can't remember exactly how it works. But, there will be random enemies just to Appearing. I think if we destroy one, it spawns a lot, but I'm not sure. How much HP has got? 1,000 HP. Well, we can test it out on one, I guess. I was making some more packs. I'm just not sure who's got one. It won't tell me unless I draft them. Uh, I was making like a, a couple, right? Let's have a little look, Z. Two more. I think I was making like three or four. So, we should have quite a few. We need to use them to light our way to it, but... I feel like this might be the easiest one to start with. We'll go outside the door, shoot a few flares just around here. Then we can just shoot it from distance, destroy it, run back in. And if we get attacked by other things, they can come through the kill box. Or, well, is that broken? No, it's good there. It's good there. there. Right, nice. So, yeah, we'll work on that. Anything else big happening today, kids? You're not there yet. You might hit 10 today if we do a lot. Probably not. And Sarah and feel both very young still okay well the good news is though we're currently on oh no uh we need two more advanced monolith entities but have we seen them well i've got the noctilith but we haven't got the certain enemies yet so that puts down to one more thing required so just one more obelisk or something turns up that is going to be pretty cool. Okay, so we might, if we get through this today, provoke again, we might get the last like thing we need to go into Endgame, which would be quite cool. It may be difficult to tell, but it is indeed the morning. It's 10 a.m. And I'm going to go for a bit of overkill, I think. I'm going to send like, everyone who's good with guns. Actually, maybe Bell. no, you're 13. You're 13 as well, but you've got good armor on. I'm going to send like, loads of people out here. I can't see anything like lurking around, like any bright eyes. So we might be kind of okay. Right, what we're going to do is... I've made loads more disruptor, pa disruptor flare packs. So we can like throw them out, I think. Tiffy got one? No. Gustav's definitely got one. Right, okay. We're going to go out here. And we're going to throw a flare right here. Okay, well, oh, no, I don't summon a threat. <laughs> um, right, if I send everyone out into the light. And I'm hold this door as well. It's an auto door, actually. I won't hold it. I don't know if enemies can, like, still come and get me or not. I, I, I don't know. I don't know what the, the, the procedure is. But either that, we got, we've got, like, five different people with flares. So... I'm thinking we just shoot this now, right? Leave melee people close by. We'll leave melee and flamer close by. But everyone else can kind of like move over and shoot it. And not tell us. Okay. That seems like a lot of things. <laughs> um, how much health has it got? Oh, it's done. Okay, okay, it's done. Right, let's get in. Oh, there's one coming. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. I thought they were coming at the edge of the map. No. No, they weren't. Right. Well, let's still try to get inside, shall we? Okay, look got a slight hit. Um, don't hold that one open. 
How do we do this? I guess I could maybe see if I can deploy a flare behind it. Okay, she's stunned as well. Okay, do another one. If this door can get closed. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, so they might just come and attack me now. I should go to the defense positions. And then if I get someone to repair. Who's good at repairing? Uh, zero. Oh, that one's stuck behind there now, though. <laughs> you know what? Pete. Come kill. That actually worked out really well. We killed, we destroyed one of the things. They're on fire as well. I don't think the dogs was that tough, really. No, they're not. Okay, Lou got a little bit hurt, though, but she's not bleeding or anything, so that's nice. Yeah, these things shouldn't last too long. Do we discover what not toll is that we have? Nice. So it should give us one more advanced thing to study. Hell yeah. Getting close, guys. These flares last a long time, actually. Actually lasts a really long time, so maybe we can daisy chain it up there. Right, you guys good? Right, you're good. Uh, zone. What are we at the moment? I kind of want to put the fire... We can go up there. We can go put the fire out. I'd rather they didn't, like, burn and spread to all my decoys. Yeah, it's probably for the best. Okay, we're into the next day. I think we did quite well with the first one. I'm a bit worried about how easy it is for them to just spawn right next to us. So... I think tactically, if I just throw loads of flares that cover like a large area, they can't spawn in that area then ideally. So then we can just destroy it and get back in before they attack us. Or at least we can then send more flares around the outside to stun them while we, while we run away. That's going to be the plan. E, I don't trust you not to set our own people on fire. So let's just set that for you quickly. Let's get you out here sending some flares off as well. Right, so let's just try like one here. Okay. And then one here. I'm use all these flares up, I think. Okay, so that's a nice little area. Let's get everyone out here. Uh, we'll hold this door open as well. And you know what? I know it's an auto door. We'll hold that one as well. Right. Can't you see something? Oh, there's something over there. Well. That's good. Let's go along down here. And let's start getting down here as well. Now, who else do we have? We have Gustav. Una. This is good. I'm going to go a bit over the top on this, I think. Get a bit closer. Um, Uno, Uno. Oh, Martin, sure. Just want to make sure there's not enough... There's a lot of space around us. Everyone's having a bit of go. So enemies will only spawn, like, in certain areas. This is a bit overkill. This is definitely uh, what I consider overkill. Right, you guys... Because you're melee... Maybe you guys go over here to get ready. And Necroz, you're a shotgunner. So is Hakuja. So maybe those guys get over here as well. And these guys with the range weapons start doing the business. Right, not till attack again. And they're pretty much... Yeah, they're pretty much all in this curve around here. So maybe... Who's, who's here? Okay, maybe we just start, start sending some flares over here. Oh, you're out of flares now, aren't you? Poops. Oh, it's done. We, we destroyed it. We destroyed it. Okay, we can now just run in, actually. We can now run in and don't hold them open. Celius, hurry up. Gustav, 
Send a quick one in. Oh, look at that. Smooth as you like. Smooth as you like. Destroyed as well. We haven't repaired this after last time because I didn't want to get too close to the darkness, but it's kind of okay. I'm quite concerned about the last one. If the mortar doesn't really work, because, I mean, what we got... Ooh, no, no. We've got a few shots. We've got one barrel left over. I think I can make them, though, right? I've got the the lathe. So I could just make more barrels. I might actually set one down to be made, actually. Just so we got it there. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Yeah, really not sure what I'm going to do over here. If the mortar doesn't work, it's going to be... These last a long time. But we'll have to use loads and loads just to make a little wall over there. Then we've got to get back. And they're so fast, I think that they're going to catch up to us. So we might have to fight them out in the field. They're not very strong, but there's just a lot of them. Are they weakened in the light, though? Maybe when they're in the light and their eyes aren't lit up. Because when they get in the light, their eyes stop being glowy. Look. Oh. Can I like can I see something on your like not you, the live one. The live one. Light exposure initial. Slowing it and weakening its attacks. Okay, so let's make it slower at least. Then it's dazzled by the other thing. <laughs> it's dazzled by the, the searchlight. Okay, kids. Oh, we just took out Lifter 1. Oh, no, Polly. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. Put the fire out. Get rid of these corpses. Let the trees eat. The music's changed? It should still be eerie music because of the... Okay, it did. <laughs> the music went from raid music to like, hold on. We've got one. We've got one. Who's fast moving here? I mean, Gustav. Capture Noctile. Yeah, just dump it in there. Got four hours, though. He can stabilize. He's got good medicine. No, he's not very good medicine. I think Zero had the medicine. Right, I want to stabilize it in case it gets up straight away. So, Akuja. He's going to get down here ready to tend to it. We got ourselves a Noctile. Hopefully. Right, three hours left. I think Hakuja is going to get this. Six hours. Yes. Nice. Another one. This is good. They look really cool. Look. Nice. I like it. Well, everyone's going to get ready to go again. Maybe not Baby or Lower. Bell and Secundus, so they're a little bit young, but we'll, we'll chuck them out anyway. Should be okay. Everyone appears to have um, rearmed their. Disruptor flare packs as well. We hold that one open. E. Let's go up here. We have to make a long line. This is going to be really, really tough. I think we have to fight it. I think we just have to stand up there and just hold our ground and fight. Um, I'm not just say you don't fire at will. I just don't trust you enough. No offense. Right. We'll make a line with you. I'm not going to hold this door open, though. It's not a door. It's nice and fast. We'll make a line to it. Because they should spawn nearby it. So I'm hoping, like, they won't spawn down here. They'll spawn, like, around this area. So if you're back here, and there's, there's light this side, actually, with fire. That's really good. Right, you guys go up here as well. We can use six to get towards it. The, the fire might cut us off, which would be a bit of a... A worry, but I think we'll be okay. Right, and then I'm going to start doing everyone else's around it. So that's close enough to shoot this thing. Okay, so everyone get in, in, in a big group here. Right, Una. I'm more worried about them spawning right next to us. 
Okay, we're just going to not to attack anyway. Oh, okay. So I've just spent all this time trying to make it up to here. The question is, do I quickly try to take this one out? <laughs> And then have to fight two lots of Noctoles. Or do we just run back and fight them? I think we play safe. I think we play safe. Gosh darn it. We were so close to getting you then, but they're, they're really fast. By the time I shot that, they're all spawn around us. We get overwhelmed by like 150, 150 of them or something. I don't know if I bore you with another one of these fights. The third one of these ones. We're about to have a fourth after this as well. We are slowly ripping our kill box to pieces, though. So, yeah, it might end up having a big old load of them push through. I have to draft everyone around here to stop them running up there. I want to leave this as area one so we can go and repair and put fires out, but I don't want them to go out there during the fight, obviously. What I'm thinking, when I send one flare up there, and then allow this zone as well so we can rebuild this. Sad one of a Tiffy, fine. Where are you sad wandering? Okay. Don't go out there. <laughs> Please don't go out there. <laughs> well, he's almost taken care of. Yeah, so I might put a flare down. So it's lit up enough that we can go and repair and rebuild this quickly. It's not too late yet. You know what we could do actually for this one, which would be really good. Why don't we have the elephant army? With Lou. I wasn't going to send Lou because of her peg leg. But. She can have elephant army there. Which is actually going to really help out. Because they won't get attacked unless obviously. The Noctos will attack them. But they won't, shouldn't get attacked by the darkness I don't think. Yeah this is, this, is, this is the time to use the elephants. Okay. We've got a nice big open area here. Where when they attack us. We should just be okay to stand in our ground and killing. The elephants should do a good job as well. Here's hoping. Let's get all you guys just to shoot at this. Let's see how this goes. Right, not to attack. Okay. Draft, undraft. E, maybe if you stand... Where's they coming from? Loads, loads all over the place. Oh, they spawned inside the walls there, so that's not too bad. That fire's kind of blocking them a little bit. Maybe you get to the front. And... Should I send the elephants to attack? Mm, yeah. Maybe E doesn't flame flamethrower then. I know, I know it's a, my, one of my best move, moves, but... I don't want to set fire to all the elephants. Right, melee people down the bottom here. Bell's getting hit. Okay, how many we got? There's quite a few around us. Why are you upset? Will your elephants die? Wait, I don't know what happened. Absolutely butchering these guys. Right, we've got a few a few injuries, what one could say, but we're alright. Finish it off. Darkness is lifting. Nice. It might go... I don't know if it goes instantly. I guess it probably doesn't. Um, we should probably go down and take care of the ones that are inside these walls. Although, this is going to smash the walls, right? No, I'm going to smash my generator. Gosh. Darn it. I have to send some people inside there. Pete and... Tiffy. Who's got some lights? Karen's got some lights. Secundus has got lights as well. Okay. You go over there. You guys go over here. Take care of this one. These guys are kind of being okay, but... Although, look, the light's lifting properly. Oh, what? Wicked. Nice. So I don't actually need to worry about it. Right, go kill that one. Um, you go back, you go back, you go back. You guys, you go back. You guys could go in here and kill these guys. Oh, I hate which is outside area. Just go inside there. Right, Thieves killed that one. 
Oh, they got that over there. Okay. Killed the last couple. We've actually, a lot of them survived, but we don't need more than one in the thing, I don't think, so. That's all right. Right, so we've got some injuries. Bell got 23 hours. Karen's got 12 hours. A few elephants got injured, but none actually killed. So that's good news. Now we can unrestrict everyone, because there's no more unnatural darkness. Oh, one of our elephants died. Because Akuja decided to go to sleep for some reason. No! I don't think there was any more that were that badly injured. You got tending to do. Come on. Never do. Go tend. Poor elephants. There were probably some young ones I shouldn't have sent out there, but. Oh well. I think before we get to like proper end game and stuff, I might make a bionic leg. Do do do. Move it to the top. Make a bionic leg for. Let me just. We start on that. For Lou. Are we missing any really important body parts? So you're kind of okay. You're missing a toe. That's not too important. Toe, finger, peg leg. So that's important. Toe. Yeah, just a couple of toes and fingers other than the peg leg for Lou. So I feel like we make a, make a leg for her. I can still just provoke the anomaly anyway. Even without Lou, it's not too much of an issue. Although she does control the elephants. So they are a good contingency. That's another reason I want to have her available to move at good speed. Because I don't want her to be like lagging behind with the elephants. She needs to be up there at the front if if we need her. I just realised Sarah isn't Sarah. Well, Sarah is Sarah. But Sarah should be Quadrius or whatever it was. What was it supposed to be? <laughs> um... Quadrius. I also realise that Una, female, Secundus, female, Tertius, female, Quadrius, female. They've had four female, four like daughters. No, no boys from them. Bell, female. We've got James and Phil, though. So we have had two males, but they were both from Gustav. Oh, and Theban that had one as well. Was there another baby? Oh, Tiffy. Tiffy wasn't one of ours born here, though. She turned up as a child. Tiffy's still one of my favourites. Let's look at her. Look at that. Look at the abilities. So good. Una, fantastic. Secundus, really good. I like Bell. Got some good stuff. Baby, 15 melee, brute determined. I think Tertius is the brute as well. The brute kids. So many like female births, but not many males. That's really cool. I don't know why it's cool. It's just I don't know. I like it. It's good. <laughs> These guys are leaving this guest, so it's probably a good time to do the provoke, I guess. Everything's repaired. All this stuff, walls are repaired, red fire, but that's done. I have to replace some walls up here. Everything's even cleaned up, everyone's fully healed. I am making this leg, which isn't too far away. But even if I provoke it, we've got to then deal with it. So I can, I can, I can have Lou under having surgery in the meantime. So let's provoke. Void provocation. Um, I know Neville can go do it. Gustav. Uh, who is it? I always forget who it is. Hakuj is one of them. And Pete? Nope. I think Martin, probably. Nope. Maverick? There we go. I do. You guys, provoke the void. It'll be the last thing we need before we can start the end game. But then before we do that, I mean, look look at our people. Marine armor all the way down. I've said it's got his recently as well. Lou, Karen, and Belle don't have it, have it but... Everyone else is marine armoured up. They've got good helmets, or good enough helmets as well, though. Neville's even got a marine helmet. I could probably give that to Lou or something, but... After you make this, I'm still put down to make one... Wait, is marine armour here? Hang on. We've got marine armour down here. Uh, Lou? Mm, no, maybe not Lou. Bell. 
bit more worried about the 13 year old not being properly geared up so although Karen's really really good obviously with all the stats and the perfect memory maybe she should I don't know I think it should be okay more worried about the kids because the kids have less HP on their limbs right so this would be good good for Belle we've got this obelisk here as well which we haven't finished doing de dealing with shall we say but just need an obelisk to turn up and then we've got it. Then we can start the end game. But the worry is, should we deal with the obelisks before we go for more problems? I don't know. I don't know. Triple speed! Right. I think I should probably, just in case, let's area one everyone and everything. Yeah, get back inside, guys, just in case. There's only one thing that could possibly turn up that I'd, I'd want to definitely be inside for. Something from below. Um, a small circle of terrain has begun to shift and crack apart. Something is digging up towards the surface. Uh, rhythmic pulsations shake the ground from underneath. It's not another pit gate, is it? If it's another pit gate, that's going to be a bit annoying. Oh, no. It is not a pit gate. It is not a pit gate at all. <laughs> this is the flesh mass. Right. Right, let me pause it for two seconds. Let's read it. A flesh mass heart has emerged. This cancer-like creature will expand its living mass across the surface. The heart itself is invulnerable to normal weapons. Flesh mass nerve bundles will soon appear. Attack them to gather samples and find a way to kill the heart. So we need to destroy the, the nerve bundles. Which are these things. I think we need like three of them. And look, it's, it's going to keep spreading across the whole map. It will go through doorways and stuff as well. So what we can do is go over there now and start shooting it. We can't destroy the heart yet. But we can destroy the nerve bundle. This this shoots mortars at a certain range. So we might get hit a little bit by this. But I think we go for that. I might just send everyone out there now quickly and start shooting it. Although we have now enough knowledge of dark phenomena to fully awaken the void monolith. Open a two-way conduct to the void. Be warned, once you awaken the monolith, there's no going back. The process will shroud the region in natural darkness and manifest waves of horrifying entities. Make sure colony is well lit and well prepared. So yeah, we'd have to take care of this flesh mass, flesh mass first. But maybe we can. Maybe we can get that done now. I don't think we've done enough in this episode that I can call an episode here. So we're going to start dealing with this, this right now, I think. Let's just get everyone out there. Let's go. These, this one will spawn now, but then the other two might take a while to spawn. So we'll just go down there and do some damage. Take out one. Make some progress. Be concerned about how many flesh beasts and stuff there are. Especially the big, the big bulb freaks. They are coming for us. Uh, e. Make sure you're at the front here a bit. We've got lots of guns though. Um. Don't attack yet. Let's just send some flares out. Okay, quite a few are coming, quite a few. Let's get our melee people down here ready. E, maybe stand out a bit. Phoebe down here. We're going to get overrun here quickly. I think I'm worried we're going to get overrun really quickly. If I kill all these, that's a lot though. <laughs> um, right. And if I kill them all, the elephants are going to get stuck in as well. Should be okay, I reckon. Zero's been hurt quite nasty already. Let's 
to stand our ground. Uh, Pete? Give me Pete. Why don't you want to... Oh, I'm about to set fire to my own people. Okay. Maybe hold your fire at will for now. Are we okay here? We're getting a little bit bloody. We're kind of holding off quite nicely. The elephant's doing a great job. Right. I need zero, the longest range we've got, to kind of get down here and kind of like shoot this. We're going to get hit by this bloody acid thing though. Although he might have the range, I think, to stand there and, and be okay. Look how far it's spreading already. Okay, let's start moving down. Uh, Zero, how badly hurt are you? Eh, not, not the best of conditions. About to stand here and shoot. Right. How far can this shoot? Okay, so you're kind of good. If we go here, we can start just sniping this. Hit it. Uh, send away. It's not time for you to come here yet. Right, shoot the void mass thing. The nerve bundle. Right, so we need to go and... Right, can I haul that in? We can haul it. Who's fast? Uh, you should be quite fast. Never do hauling. Okay, pick it up. He's going to get shot by the acid, but I'm hoping he just misses him. Okay, dodged. Nice dodge. Pick it up. Okay. Everyone back inside. Kill that one. Don't shoot. Zero. Oh, we took out one of our own elephants. Um, can we rescue our elephant? Kill it. Nice. Okay. Oh, I could capture that as well. Uh, no, there's still more things coming. So what, now we have to get inside... Right, everyone inside. Okay, good. So we have to wait for more of those nerve bundles to spawn now. They might spawn down by the heart. They might spawn at any point. So we just have to let it spread now. If it's not spreading into our base a little, we're going to just shoot it a little bit. But Right. How hurt are we? 11 hours on you. Moods aren't great. You're not too bad. Maybe we'll wait for your leg surgery to be dealt with this then. I don't know. Tantrum, sure. Right, well that's a good start for this. Maybe, it might be a slightly shorter episode, but I might just do this here, because I think the next episode we should be doing the one where we properly deal with this, and then probably, once we do that, awaken the monolith, and then we can start the end game, which would be awesome. So thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.